Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we're looking at the i16, and I wanted to, I've been asked to do a, a little bit of a courses on on flying different planes. So, you know, my style is get into the plane and fly it, and show you how how it works. But what I'll try and do first is demonstrate about the different lines and what it really means to have the fighters, heavy fighters, multi rolls, and the ground attack. So, this is a multi-role fighter, and you're thinking, well, where does it fit in? So it comes after the I-15 on the Russian line. So coming in, normal fighters coming in from the, the I-5, I-15, I-16, and then it splits to the I-17 or the I, I-16L for the late model. Now, I've gone down the I-17, right the way through to the Yak-19, almost got the, uh, the Tier 10 at the moment. The I, I-16E, the early version, leads to the I-17. Now you can see here that it's got rockets and 12 mil cannons. Very, very, very neat. So we look at the I-16 next level. It jumps up, so you can see that it goes to bigger cannons, so 20 mils, less of them, but more punchy for taking down structures. And along with six rockets, it's very, very, very funky and good at taking things down. Then you get 12 mil cannons as well, or machine guns as well as 23 mil cannons. You can see the, the you've got a combination of fighter with a bit of ground attack, but with really punchy guns that could also be used for taking down heavier craft. So potentially a bit of interception, except your altitude performance is lacking. You could still do it. It's not designed for it, but with the big guns could help you take down bigger targets. Now, looking at the airspeed, well, what I'm going to do, follow down, so the LA-5, you can see big guns, 20 mil cannons, very, very neat. LA-7, from 20s to 320s to 323s, uh, very, very nice, 423s, coming up to tier 9, 237 mils, or 23 mils to 37 mils, then up to, uh, to 30 mils. And then finally, the, the LA-15, which is running 323 mils. But we can see here that it's got a good altitude performance of 2,000 meters. So it's a good interceptor as well as a semi-ground attack. It's it's a multi-role fighter or multi-role vehicle. I know that well. Th this is more a straight fighter. So as you work your way down, you start off being the, the multi-role right the way down from here. But then you still keep the intensity of the weapons. You lose the rockets, and then later on, you get more of a combination. So what I want to show you is the difference between the I-215, which you get in on the multi-roll side, and the Yak-30, which you get on the straight fighter side, on the straight dogfighting side, to see exactly what you get. So this is a tougher, very weighty vehicle. 600 hit points or 600 survivability compared to 420 gun armaments 257 mil cannons compared to 323 mil so you can see this is more of a, a faster firing more shots in the air towards your target whereas this has got huge huge blasting cannons on the front of it for decimating what's in front which makes this a good high level interceptor for taking down really strong craft very heavy it's good fighter against heavy fighters and ground units as well or ground uh, buildings then we come to the airspeed so airspeed of these two so you're looking 500 compared to 475 so the so it's got more speed but it's got less maneuverability which we'll look at in a moment so there's only 25 in it but the the 215 is better speed wise then store speed 250 compared to 160, so it's less able to dogfight, purely because of the stall out uh, level. But the the Yak 30 has got the additional climb rate because it's such a lot. Even if it's got the same engine, it's got which is in the centre where the uh, the big guns are of the uh, the 215. But it's got two rock. The 215 has got two engines on the wings, but the Yak 30 it's almost I'd say 60% of the weight with one engine going through the center of the fuselage so it's faster to accelerate it operates at 1500 uh, meters compared to 1600 meters with the uh, the 215 then we come to the maneuverability 
Oh, we'll look at the dive speed. The uh, 215 has got a thousand meter kilometers an hour dive speed compared to 950 with the Yak 30. So there's not a lot in it, but the 215 has got the edge. Then we come to the maneuverability. Now this this will show the difference between the the multi-roll fighter side, which has got a 12.3 uh, seconds to turn compared to the Yak 30, which is only 8.6. But the 12.2 is still better than some at tier 10. So you've got to bear that in mind. You can, you can still do a little bit, but it's not. It's a multi-roll as opposed to a true fi a true dog fighting plane. So this is what you've got to think about before you choose your line. We then come to the uh, the roll, roll degrees per second. Only 100 for the 215, but 140 for the Yak 30. It's an incredibly good uh, fighter. Controllability, this is how accurate the guns are. The 215, accuracy of 80. Ahead of it, the Yak 30 is 87. So that's that's almost 10% better. So that shows you what the, what the two lines can do. Now let's get back to the early version and get on into back to the hangar. And I'll show you what this is like. So usually, let's just get in and sort this out so bear with me a second okay i've just switched back to my uh, eu account and i've been awarded 60 gold uh, let's have a look i've done this to uh, to come back to see some more of the uh, the planes that i've got so down to the e version and i'll be able to put let's see how i've got this set up so bear with me a second view in the hangar there we go and let's get the overview so I've got this set up with a lightened airframe, engine tuning, and improved optical sight. So let's get into, into that game and see exactly what we can do with this. Okay, so what I've done previously on the European one is to go down the, the pure fighter dogfighting okay. side because you, you know... You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay, thank you. As you know, I love my dogfighting, but I'm actually going to go down this other line on one of the two accounts to show you what this is like. So, uh, yeah, so it's not my usual thing, but I want to show you what it's like. So, I can give you the theory, but it's not, not uh, well, I haven't really practiced with it, but I'm going to do, uh, do the best I can, because it's, it's basically a fighter, isn't it? So... Pilot. Get ready for action. Let's go. So, let's get in. Boost in close and... I've got no rockets. No. So I've got it set up more like a normal fighter. Great. So I can't show you the rockets, but I can show you what it's normally like. So bear with me. that done let's take out okay that's sorted let's go in after him okay down let's go for these he's on my tail he's gone cool this area is ours now normally on my I presumed I would have, I'd have had the same setup as on my American account with the rockets. I, w I just wanted to get it so quickly and show you. So I've got no rockets. Otherwise I'd have been blasting away with those rockets from range and taking down the heavier units. So, we'll, But we can see what this is like without the, uh, without the rockets in this format. And then we'll put the rockets on to see the difference. It does affect the, um, the ability, the maneuverability of the plane. But I want to show you well, so I can show you both incarnations. So, so in a way, that's quite quite a, quite a good thing. So, so I'm sort of, and I'm, I'm pulling back on the throttle, so I've got a little bit more time on target, and then zoom out onto the next target, slow down a little bit, a bit of boom and zoom, and over in towards the next target. Someone's on my tail. And then let's go after him. So it allows you to take out ground targets 
What the say? Oh, that's too many of them. If he hadn't been coming in, I would have taken out that other plane. But it's it shows that it's still a good fighter, even with the heavier guns. Without rockets, this is sort of the format of the planes that you'll get later. So let's carry this on. Let's get, just hop into that. You can see, see how many tier three planes I've got. Just 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 one or two. So let's push in. I didn't notice how many points I got. But as you can see, without the rockets, it's it's like the normal I-16, I-17-ish version, but with slightly bigger, less MG guns, but a little bit more firepower, as I mean punchiness and bigger shells that can take down buildings very, very neatly. Which I I'm all for big guns. I love I love big guns, little planes. And the manoeuvrability, you can see side to side, very nice, and spinning in, in twirling from side to side, very useful. And we're going to go down on him, and we'll see, we'll see what the guns are like against him. Right now, if I'd had the rockets, then I'd be, uh, I'd be sending them straight into him from behind. And you can see how tough a little thing is because he was firing his rear guns at us and we've taken I don't know tw 16 points of damage someone going in high where are they it must be very high yeah very high 1400 meters let's see what this is like for getting up to that level we got so so many guys going in we've got too, too many resources I need to be focusing somewhere else and you saw by the stall warning it would have taken us a while to get there. So let's uh, keep this rocking and rolling, keep pushing forward, get in, help uh, sort out this central area. Let's, uh, let's put punch in. I want to help support my buddy, try and help the BF to get away. That's it, you run away. Yeah, come on, if you think you're hard enough. A little, a little dodge then so I wouldn't uh, get him ramming into me oh, how many of them now he's the biggest threat let's try and come in underneath now there, there were three or four of them on me at that time I went to help my buddy to help him get away which he did but I was then in a position of, of at least three aircraft on me you can only do so much. It's nice to uh, to help your team, and we'll see what we can do. It's because if if, if he hadn't been there, I wouldn't have gone in. So uh, yeah, sometimes helping people can get you. It's not the right tactical move, but it's nice, you know. <laughs> look, look after the people on your team. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get to, and help at the uh, the airfield help secure the airfield as quick as possible use the big guns to take down the uh, the targets one thing about this it's slow to target it's, it's slow to there we go that it's been dealt with even before i get there so we'll come in over the mountain so we can dive down have a bit of an angle on whoever's there and see what we can do Two hundred sixty kmh it really doesn't feel fast it's uh which is why one of the reasons I didn't go down this line because of the combination but it I want to show you what these combinations are so you've got a slower platform but it's it's better for receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions support will be unable to reach you do you read me over oh that was a bit weird stall warning and then oh heck what the Right, tier 5, BF-10, sorry, tier 4, yeah, but t tier above, but our points, you know, 2,270 points so far, not too bad compared to uh, better than anyone else at tier 3, just about, the A5M, as expected, we would do well. You any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. Okay, thank you for letting us know. 
good job coming here, so let's defend this area. Where is he? The enemy is about to win. Push harder. Let's get in, sort him out. See, he's just chewing through him, and he's quite a tough target. A very tough target. So he must have been one of the ones who were helped to shoot me. Oh, and you, buddy. So we're still hitting, even though it's out of our major range. Let's try and get... There we go. Try and get back on target. Yes. You can see the guns are very good against... <laughs> Let's get back on these while we can. So it's very good for taking down tough planes. Helped with him, but we're the boost. We've run out of boost. Can we get anything on him? We're hitting him a little bit, but he's out of range. They're going to win. It's just a pity about how things started at the beginning. But you can see that it's it's a very useful little plane. It's a nice combination of factors, which can assist your team as long as your team is helping to hold up the rest of it. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's try and get into the middle while we can. Turn back. Too late. The enemy force is too strong. 5,300, you know, still not a, not a bad score in a, in a tier 4 game, in a tier 3 plane. We'll now put some rockets on. So you've seen that it, it's got heavier guns. You've got the option of rockets. How do we do? So 22,000 credits. Not bad at all. And pretty high up there. So fourth on t on the team, you know, behind just behind the only ones who really were any better were the t were the tier fours. So it's 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 a good good plane, good enough to m sort of to almost match a tier four or be at the top level of tier threes. So what I'm going to do? Let's stick some rockets on, get those on, and boom is second. So what you lose. Uh, by putting the rockets on, we're losing four. Let's check the overall. So, slight loss of uh, climb and four airspeed. So, without further ado, let's get into, into a battle, show them what it's like with the rockets. Okay, let's have a look. So, spawn point there. Yeah, it looks like, like quite a nice position to be in. So, we get in, get those rockets flying, and see what we can do. Oh, well, that sounds good. You know, it sounds easy. As long as we do that, we'll win. Cool. So, see what we can do. Now we've got rockets. So, what all we've lost... Yes, I know, we've lost a bit of speed. Which, for this, is a little bit of a detriment. But, you've got the more punchy guns for taking out buildings. And for those heavier-duty planes. Show me what you can do, pilots. Let's roll. Okay. To try and get a bit of height first, come, then cut work to come down on them. You haven't got the greatest amount of boost, and we've got planes down here. Let's try and swoop in, get ready to swoop in on them. You can also use the rockets on the enemy as well. They don't always hit. I'd say 25% chance of hitting. So uh, let's see what we can do. Punch of guns and still a very good, good plane. So let's get in, deal with, deal with him. Cool. Okay. And from here. Oh, didn't want to take it out. And then we do just a little bit of MG and a rocket. It makes it easier for taking out structures 
So uh, that's it. Helped to, uh, to, to sort that out. And we've still got three rockets remaining. Let's get over, over here. Work our way in. Start attacking. Let's take that one out. Help with those. Let's get in against these lower anti-aircraft guns. Use the mobility to get in, get into an area that's uh, tricky for other people to get into, and line up. That's it. And let's work our way up. Another one here. We haven't got much time on target. Didn't quite take it out, so let's go in slower to finish it off. But you do sometimes get a bit close to target. But you've got the ability to slow things down a little bit. So you you are risking collision, but if you get it right, you don't uh, I'll circle round, back around for that anti-air anti unit in a second. Cool, that's that. As you can see, it's very precise for taking unit uh, things out. Let me just focus on these. Spin round to take him. Come on, that's it. Slightly longer range and certain planes think they're better get away but they won't be able to. And he's gone too. Let's take that good. We take Follow him down. That's it, he's gone. The punchiness of these guns, are it's very, very good. So we captured this zone as well. You see the difference with the rockets. You don't, you don't lose a lot of speed, but the usability of this... You, you know I just love my fighters, and this is this still feels like the normal fighter anyway. Let's go in, let's take that anti-air anti -air gun out to... Uh, oh, and we've got rockets as well. You see how useful this is. Ah, but you can't always do everything. Now he was the straight fighter. No, no, same one. But he's the that's the fighter version. No, he's got the rockets as well. So that seems to be the uh, the one everyone's using at the moment. So three thousand and ninety five points. And you can't you know you can't do three thousand and ninety five points in a bad plane. So let's get in, try and recapture that, that centre section. We've still got two rockets. The points we're down. As long as we can take out more of their fighters as well, we should be fine. So let's push up, try and get a bit of height. We're losing a bit in the centre. Oh look, we've, we've, we've done more damage than uh, than some of the... Oh, we've, we're, we've done better than some, some of the tier 4s. Oops. That's a good plane. Try and get some shots at range on him. It's a good plane, but not so good and it's blown to bits. So, uh, let's try and follow these guys. So we're going into a bit, a bit of a defensive situation at the moment. A couple of guys coming this way. They must be up there, trying to get in high against our, our defences. Let's see what I can do. Let's try and push in, help against him, and uh, and then push into that central area. Okay. Missed with the rockets. You don't always hit. You heard that double bang. That was uh, the rockets going in. Uh, 
Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Okay, not fast enough to chase him. Let's see who else we can do. AA fire. Oh, that's not good. Let's dodge to the side. Cool. Let's work our way around. How close are they? Let's see. Okay. More anti air to protect our guys. Bit of an assault situation because if I can take the guns out, it, it protects the the rest of the guys There's as they're no coming through. You You're on your own. And then zoom up because at one of our jobs is to defend the rest of the team. They've almost got us. I'm gonna circle back around for that AA gun in a second. Oh! See, trying to work to protect the team, if the team sucks really bad, there's not a lot you can do. Let's have a look at the points. 4,800, so we're up there with the, uh, the top guys. Of the well, at the moment, we're third on the team behind the two uh, Tier 4s. You know, you can't... You can't fault this little plane. It's it's really not a bad plane. It's it hasn't done anything wrong. When the team is this bad, or the other team is good, is better. Not saying the players are bad, just the other team are better. And uh, well, the plane itself and the format is very useful as long as you think about what it's doing, its role, and to tailor it for this. I'm actually going to do one minor change before we take it out for another run okay sadly it was only uh, just under 6,000 points let's go and have a look so let's see what we've done and I've got a minor modification I want to do on this knowing the role that I want to show you that it does Let's get rid of this. So 20, 24,000. Yep. Let's see. So let's. So we've got the rocket on board. Now let's wait for this to disappear. Come on, that's it. You go and let's look. Engine tuning isn't a problem. Improved sights, good. Now, as we're going to go change it for the ground attack side of things, what this would re could really do with is concealing livery. Now, before we do that, I, I want to show you what that actually does. Reduces the efficiency of anti-air and rear gunners by 30%. I wouldn't normally do it on a fighter, but this is a multi. Um, this is going to be a ground attack, so I can show you what the ground attack is. And to do that, you want to an and interception, so you want to be protected from anti-air fire because you're going to be going in taking out the anti-air. So, let's just let's just. Uh, destroy that and put it in then engine tuning we'll get rid of that and put in since what's what I do for you guys you know and uh, ordnance delivery which will improve rockets and bombs make them more accurate so we'll change that put that in so we've now changed it to make the rockets more accurate and to actually allow us to to be better against anti-air so without further ado, let's get into uh, into the next battle and see what we can do. It's in its in itself, it's not a bad little plane, and and this style of play, you need to have the plane set up right. And as you probably know, I, I had this set up originally for uh, as a fighter, but now we're going to go for the multi more multi role aspect as opposed to more the fighter aspect. So bear with me as we get in. Okay, so this one again, let's see what we can do. And this time we've got rockets. And we're on the... T I, I do like the side of the... Uh, I, I like the look of the pyramids. So we're doing more ground attack, get in, destroy the anti-air, protect the, our buddies up top, and aim for any ground attack craft or multi-rolls that are coming in. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. 
Let's boost in, take it, stick it to them, and give it large. Anti-air, where are you? Well, I know where they are, I'm just saying it. So, uh, yeah, I, I do actually know. It was semi-rhetorical. Cool, that's useful. To work our way over and come down on these. Circle back around for the other one. Neat. And then coming in this way. Taking out the anti-air to protect our buddies. Nice. Planes to deal with, so let's go and kill them. Almost in range. Come on, you know you want to. Oh, he's gone. Okay, cool. That's it. The place is ours. Now let's head for the other area. And you see that we are only down to. Uh, to we've only lost about 20 points of uh, of health. So we're only on 90, rather than being a low amount because of the that special paint that we put on, which protects us from the anti-air and rear gunners. There we go. And now the rockets are back up. So let's boost in. The rest of the team isn't going that way, so I'll come and help get into position, help the team capture the centre. Better if you don't go on your own with, without at least a couple of guys on your team to uh, to help. So we'll swoop over here, come in. It feels more, this setup, it feels more like a ground attack craft because really that's, that's what it is now. You, my little friend, you are toast, and you will be. And we're shrugging off his uh, his rear gun at us to by the fa a factor of thirty percent. You can hope with the rockets, and that's helped frightened him off and allowed us to win this area. And by firing them all off, you get them uh, back quicker. So let's move in on the uh, the TSH. Neat, and you know how tough that plane is. So uh, let's see what we can do. Work our way through. We've got him moving towards the centre, uh, towards our base. Ooh. Helped with him, which is nice. So let's get over and help against this guy. Getting quickly. Nasty little badger. Someone has to deal with him. Th those home defence ones really aren't always the best. Sadly, you can't always rely on other people, so um, if, you, if you're if you worried about what you can do, sadly, sometimes you've got to do it yourself. Blend and four, just dropping bombs and causing us problems. There we go, we've got rockets. Can't, can't launch them at the moment. Okay, let's get back the other way. Hopefully they can deal with him. Great, he's gone and we've taken that area. That's nice to know. So let's go and help with this uh, this zone. Uh, you know, it, it feels like it's it's an easy easy 
flying little thing. A bit of wing tipping there. What have we got? He's coming in to try and bomb as well. Let's move in to get cl as close as we can to them. Watch what the rest of their team are doing. Work our way through. How? Oops. Oops. Someone coming in that way. Let's try and deal with him. I try I've tried to fire my rockets, but I couldn't quite uh, get them off in time. That's one of the downsides. One of these coming in from, from above causes you issues. 2,500 points is okay. I was watching one of the old um, FBI files on um, advanced... Uh, what they thought of as advanced tactical training and uh, police theory back in... Uh, what is it? 19, 1974 FBI training. So, uh, yeah, that, that was... That was what it was one of the things that just showed up when I was when I was Hang looking there. through. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. I don't want to be cut off. Let's try and get as high as we can and then swoop down towards their base. Deal with their craft as they come in. So, you know, it the the speed that you lose with this basically turns it into it's, it's a nice slightly slower so more slowly moving gun platform with rockets so it does take time to to target but it's not quite as slow as a ground it's a straight ground attack and it can dogfight like a, a normal fighter there's a heavy storm here unable to proceed Return into base. do you copy i do copy where's the normal ground attack there he goes <laughs> That'll teach him for trying the same thing again. Yeah, come on if you think you're hard enough. Oh dear, what a pity, never mind. next as you can see you can deal as a normal fighter but we've oh but on your own it's not quite as good but that, that was quite nice rocketing him in the face so uh, the having the rockets does have its its own particular useful set of situations sometimes he must be like I've got him I've got him boom so I'll pause this and we'll have a look at the post-game stats. Okay, looking at the points, even though they're gaining 9 points a turn, because we did so well at the beginning, we're 624 points, we, we've nearly actually won this. So, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I don't think it's going to be very long, and it's going to be hours, I hope, unless something goes severely wrong. You never quite know, though. Let's have a look and see how the team's doing. So we're still... Oh my goodness. Uh, well, according to that, I've done the top damage, but I don't think that's a current situation, situational view. So bear with me and we'll uh, have a look at the post-game. Good. Go back to base. Okay, so 5,000 5, points. Special bonus <laughs> rocketeer, which is useful. Uh, we'd, and we lost. Ah, oh, that was so close. We had more points than them, but somehow it didn't quite work. They must they must have wiped out the last of our guys. Even though we were just about to win, the last person died, like I died. So you know, I can't I can't blame someone else for for staying alive when I didn't myself. So how much did we make? Seventeen thousand team score. Uh, we were top. Uh, just, yeah. So, as a plane, it's very, very nice. Very good fun. As a theoretical, you saw what the uh, the rockets are like. You saw how punchy these guns are. And that you can still operate as a fighter. 
in a, in a slightly more limited effect because you haven't quite got the uh, the same airspeed. But as a little plane, and then this show this demonstrates the what the line is going to be like. Apart from later on, you lose the rockets on this, and you just get those big thumping MGs. So if you like the look of this, and you want to go down the uh, the multi roll fighter line, and follow it follow through down to the likes of the 215 or on the, the other lines the multi-roll then you follow down to the uh, the BP, BVP on the uh, the German line looking at this I'll sh show you what this has got so it's got lots of rockets huge huge rockets you know <laughs> very very damaging big guns lots of rockets and rear guns so it's that sort of thing that you get on the uh, on the planes. So it depends which line you like, but this is the basic outlook, the basic way you play. They're for taking out anti-air and helping your team to get in. Because if, if say if you've got got a lightweight tier five, say if you're working your way up, ground attack planes, something like the zero going in, so lightweight the anti-air just rips it to pieces. So the reason for the for the ground attack and the the multi planes is that to to get in, take down the anti air, and then allow the likes of the zero to get in. So you work well as part of a team, as long as everyone else knows their roles. You get in, you do the ground ground defense, help taking t it to pieces. While up above you, you've got the the likes of the zero defending the sky above you while you're taking the ground area for your team or on the other side you've got to apart from here on the you've got ground attack fighters attack aircraft like the hs 128b the russian with tons and tons of attack aircraft so you fit in as somewhere in between not a pure ground attack but a semi-ground attack that can take out anti-air but can also put up a fighting fighting defense as well and get into a dogfight to a certain extent so if you like that style of play then that's what the uh, the multi-roll does and that's what it gives you so if you like that if the if the normal ground attack is a bit too slow for you then that's a good option which is somewhere between the fighter and the ground attack I hope this helps. I'm the Gaming Bear, this is the Zero, and I will see you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye!